Hey guys, today we'll be solving this question, the integral of 1 upon root 1 minus sin x dx. So let's begin. So we're going to be using two trigonometric identities. We're going to be using the half angle version of those identities. So we know that sine square x plus cos square x is 1, which implies the same for the half angle. And using the double angle formula for sine x, we've created the half angle formula sine x is equal to 2 sine x by 2 cos x by 2 and we're going to be replacing this in the denominator so we have 1 upon root of this 1 can be written as this identity right here sine square x by 2 plus cos square x by 2 and I can write sine x as 2 sine x by 2 cos x by 2 so we can see that we have a square plus another square minus 2 into the first term and the second term. This is the expansion of a minus b, the whole square. So what we're going to do is we're going to substitute sin x by 2 minus cos x by 2 in the denominator, the whole square of sin x by 2 minus cos x by 2. So now we have a whole square and we have a square root. So finally, our denominator becomes sine x by 2 minus cos x by 2. And now we're going to be doing a trick. So I'm going to be multiplying root 2 right over here. And inside we have sine x by 2 cos pi by 4 minus cos x by 2 sine pi by 4 and why I'm doing this is because cos pi by 4 and sine pi by 4 are both 1 by root 2. So I can take out 1 by root 2 common and cancel out the root 2 to finally make it sine x by 2 minus cos x by 2. So basically these two things are exactly the same and this is the expansion of sine x by 2 minus pi by 4 because sine a minus b is equal to sine a cos b minus cos a sine b, which is exactly what we have right over here. So now in our integrand, I'm going to be substituting this new denominator. So we have 1 upon, I'm just going to take the 1 by root 2 outside because it's a constant. And the new denominator becomes sine x by 2 minus pi by 4. Now I can take the reciprocal of this fraction and just convert it into cosec because cosec is the reciprocal of sine. So we have cosec x by 2 minus pi by 4 dx. We have a direct formula for the integration of cosec x dx which is log mod of tan x by 2 plus c. So this is what we're going to use for this integration. So we have 1 by root 2, we have log mod of tan, this is our x term over here, so it becomes x by 2 minus pi by 4, the whole thing divided by 2 plus c, and please don't forget that we have to put the coefficient of x in the denominator of this whole thing, so the coefficient of x right over here is 1 by 2, so that's what we have in our denominator. Okay, now I'm going to be taking this term in the numerator. So in the denominator, if it's 1 by 2, then bringing it into the numerator, it becomes 2. So we have 2 by root 2 log mod of tan. And now I'm going to put this as x by 4 minus pi by 8 plus c. This cancels out and becomes root 2. So our final answer becomes root 2 log mod of tan x by 4 minus pi by 8 plus c.